The economic indicators for July show an increase in building permits, suggesting that the hard-pressed housing industry may be starting to make a comeback. The 4.6% increase overall in the economic indicators is the largest such increase on record, and it was the second month in a row that key indicator has gone up. According to our economic analyst, Julius Westheimer, the most significant news in all of this is the increase in orders for new plants and equipment, an indication that the business community is gaining more confidence in the economy and is willing to risk some of its capital. Now, orders for plant and equipment, that's a very significant figure mm. because we call that a multiplier effect. When you get new orders for plant and equipment, that means factories expand, people are employed, products are turned out. It has a ripple effect through the entire economy. If this economic trend continues, it should mean an increase in employment. It is not clear what impact it would have on inflation. Even though the leading indicators are up, it might hurt the inflation picture. Somebody once said that just because a rose smells better than a cabbage doesn't mean it'll make better soup. And this might uh, make inflation even worse. We're living in a very fine-tuned economy here. When we get business going well, it can also heat the fires of inflation. But we can't tolerate an unemployment rate like we've got, so we're trying to stimulate business. The political impact of today's economic indicators could be enormous. If this trend continues for the next few months, Jimmy Carter's chances for being re-elected president will increase dramatically. This is Patrick McGrath on the scene in Baltimore.